Robert, good to have you here. How are you doing? I'm good, yeah, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Um, it's the fourth time for you uh, right here in Cannes, the third time with a movie in the competition. Mm -hmm. So are you such a competitive guy? <laughs> um, second, I've only, had, I've only had one other one in competition. The other two, oh no, three, oh, what am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I kind of, I, I, I mean, I love every aspect of Cannes, but really wanted to be in the competition <laughs> and uh, you know it's thrilling like especially for this when it's kind of it started just such an intimate uh, movie I mean and just and you know it's kind of it's quite it's quite a unique and kind of odd movie in lots of ways and to see it be appreciated it's, I mean, it's amazing and of course this is a um, such a huge market for 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 a movie it's a, it can be a big Kickstarter mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of attention on the movie, but there's a lot of attention on you as well when you walk down the red carpet. Um, so how do you handle that at a, such a huge festival like that? With terror. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, I'm getting older, I'm getting wrinkles, I need to have some Botox. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's always fun. I mean, it's, it's fun. Luckily, the experience I've had with all, like, all of the movies I've had that, come, that have come here, I've loved, really loved them all. It's never. I think it'd be kind of weird to, if you're like walking down the carpet and you hate it. <laughs> I mean, it'd be awful. Uh, so yeah, I've had a, I'm, I'm I'm pretty comfortable with them all. Uh, I think you did really a fantastic job on this one. So. Uh, congratulations on that. Um, I was wondering when I watched the movie, um, uh, when you are reading such a script. Um, are you imagine any character or do you project yourself immediately um, into this character you, you're reading in this story, in the script? That's a good question. I mean, with this, um, I think I really like it when you're reading it as if you're reading a novel or something and you're like, and you're not connected to it at all. Um, and that's kind of how I felt with this. I remember just like kind of having no idea where it was going like as it went further and further into it and it just felt really like uh, audacious and daring like how and just surprising the, the entire script and then yeah and then once you enjoyed it the first time I was like yeah I'm in and then I'm like oh, I don't know how to do it <laughs> immediately so uh, yeah it becomes a long process after you realize you like something Uh, Benny already told that um, you emailed, you had an email conversation in character, I think. Mm -hmm. um, is that a kind of fun part or um, a real part of the preparation? Um, yeah, no, it's definitely part of the preparation. It's actually really hard as well, because we did that before we'd shot anything. And yeah, it's like you're really self-conscious doing it. I mean, it's kind of... Because, you know, once there's something... I mean, it's difficult to like really, really concentrate how you feel about a character to be able to write as them. I mean, it's it's weird. Like, it's, uh, but yeah, it was def definitely really helpful. And like, if you look at the emails to each other, they're like they're really weird. I mean, it's kind of. I mean, I was trying to write as a sort of stream of consciousness kind of email. Um, so yeah, I think if anyone read them, they'd be like. Ugh. <laughs> There's something wrong with you. <laughs> But it's a good um, way for you to get into a role. Mm -hmm. you, you, you just mentioned when you did that. Was it the first time you did it like that? Um, with another actor, yeah. yeah. Um, I've kind of... Yeah, it's quite an unusual experience. And also, because I could feel Benny was putting in loads of effort to it as well. I mean, I just like anything, anything where people show commitment but they're taking it incredibly seriously and it really means something to them then you know it makes you up your game as well. Josh already broke the story you probably never told more about your toilet than this time. <laughs> um, there is this story that you promised to buy him uh, your toilet if the movie will make it uh, into this competition. Here we are in Cannes, where's the toilet? He's got it now. Well it's on the way to his office. <laughs> I was literally, I've talked about this toilet so much, I was hoping I was going to get a free one. <laughs> and they're like, no, nah, I didn't get one in the end. <laughs> so what's so special about that? Oh man, it's just glorious, glorious. It's a dream throne. <laughs> it's, it's a dream throne. <laughs>